Hey, um, a friend of mine asked me like this question. Uh, it's the question is based on Tyler expansions, and then uh, this question is from two, uh, 2017 November. It was midterm in Epita, uh, so it, it was exercise five and it was worth uh, four points. So the first question is this, second question is this, third question is this. It's what we learned in exercise eight, nine, ten. So it's, it's, it comes from ten and ten, but this comes from like eight and nine. Uh, second order and this is the question and now uh, before we solve this if you're following my videos or if, if you don't follow it's okay too so it's just a quiz we're gonna make a quiz so right now you don't watch the rest of the video you just pause the video now I focus the video now okay now you you pause the video and then you try to solve these questions and then you try to write your answer and then later on you can compare your solutions with mine because I'm gonna be explaining this problem um, now uh, so now you can pause and you have nine minutes you have nine minutes uh, okay you can start now pause the video and start okay I imagine you finished it if you finish it nine minutes then it's okay like normally it's okay because in, in final you don't have so much time to solve this problem but uh, you can finish it in like uh, five minutes or even like three minutes as well like three of them together this exercise five uh, but if it's like 20 minutes or 25 minutes or 17 minutes or you cannot solve it, then I highly recommend you to watch videos exercise 5, I mean function exercise 5, 9 and exercise 10. And then try to solve this and I'm sure you will be able to solve this. But if you are following my videos, I'm 100% sure you were able to solve this in 9 minutes. But if you couldn't solve in 9 minutes, comment below. Like it, how long it took you. Comment your... Uh, the time that it took you, for example, it, it takes you like eight minutes, just comment it, please. It's not like, please, you don't have to, but if you comment, it's okay, because it, it might help for the next videos. Okay, now let's start the first one. So we have this one, and in this case, the question is second order, so we don't have to think which order to up to, uh, uh, which order to use uh, Tyler expansion, right? Uh, so, okay, let's start. Uh, so first, uh, what? Excuse me, wait, was it e to the x? Oh yes, 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 it was e to the x. And I, I, I wrote this wrong actually, so I'm gonna fix it now, e to the x, ln x is down, not in the power, e plus e to the x, it's like this. Okay, now if you continue, uh, how do we solve it? First, let's, let's think about this one. If you remember, we did an exercise eight, watch that video. Uh, we we want to use it's a second order right we want to use this formula second order would be what would it be uh, u minus 1 over 2 u square uh, plus o u square I want to use this formula but right now I don't have one it's e here but in the previous examples we had 2 or th 2 like 2 plus x so we took two out in in here we took e out so that's the that's the that's the way so you take e out what you, because here you you have one then and if you take e out you have one plus x here and then you can write this as ln e plus ln one plus x okay now you continue e to the x ln e one 1 plus x, what is it? 1 plus x. x minus x squared divided by 2 plus o x square, right? And in here, e to the x. Now, we can concern about this part. And you take the fourth order and you use the formula. Where's my paper? Okay, the formula number 2. Formula number 2. According to formula number 2, it's equal to 1 plus x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial, and that's 2, plus o x squared, plus 1 plus x minus x squared divided by 2, plus o x squared. Okay, right now, very important part. Until here, you get it right, but from here to here, it must be correct. You must be careful from going this step to this step. Careful. You multiply 1 to 1. Oh. I think I wrote one two times, so it's just only one here. One plus x 
Okay, it's 1 plus x, 1 plus x. Okay, like this. Oh, I messed up. But it's okay, you understand this, 1 plus x. Uh, so 1 times this is equal to 1. 1 times x is equal to x. I'm taking this one and multiplying for each here. Minus x squared divided by 2. And then 1 times ox squared. Uh, here, it's going to be at the end. I mean, I don't need to write anything with ox squared because ox squared is going to absorb it. And x times this is equal to x. x times x is equal to x squared. And uh, uh, x times this, it goes in here. And x squared times this one is equal to this plus x squared divided by 2. And the thing is, if you multiply this one by x, you, you are going to have x cubed. Do we need x cubed? No, because the question is second order. Like we only need x squares or uh, the powers less than or equal to x squared, like x squared, x to the 1, or x to the 0. Uh, so uh, x squared multiplied by this one gives you x to the 4, and you don't need this. And this one and this one gives you o x to the 4, and you don't need this. So this is where you stop. And then you can simplify a little bit. If you cancel this part, you are going to have 1 plus 2x plus x squared plus o x squared. Okay, if you write this one, you will get the full score for this. You are going to get something like, yes, and it's good. If you understand how to solve from here to here, watch my video, exercise 8, and there you will, I will, I explained very clearly. And now next one, you have limit. This is from exercise 10. Uh, so again, we, so we take the expression first, as I explained, uh, sine x and 1 over x. And you focus, this is because this is 1 over x, we, what, what do we use? We use this formula, remember? But you don't need to write this on your, on your uh, final worksheet. Uh, so it's equal to e to the b ln a. Okay, I'm using this. And then it's equal to e to the 1 over x. And here 1 plus sine x. Boom, right? And here, do they tell you which un until which order to calculate like up to second order third order no so you have to think and in here 1 over x helps me until which order to i mean to which order to up to which order to calculate this for example imagine i take the first order here so because i take the first order i'm going to have like this is something that's going on in my mind 1 over x here and i have something 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 plus o x right well, first order and then if I multiply this one, I have 1 over x times something something plus and 1 over x times this one gives you O1, right? In this problem, what we are looking for is O1, right? That's the reason why, uh, that's the reason why um, we find the Tyler expression up to the first order. So it's because of 1 over x here. If, if, you, if we had 1 over x squared, we would take the second order. If we had 1 over x cubed, 1 over x cubed, we would take the third order. Only in this case, I mean only in this case, not all, all the cases. And in here, um, let's take 1 plus, what is uh, sine x? Sine x. Uh, sine x, sine x, sine x is equal to uh, x plus sine x is equal to first order x plus o x right okay you're right and now we continue and then we open the oh wait i forgot something i forgot something what did i forget what did i forget i forgot ln here i'm not making another new video because it takes time and uh, i don't know just kind of i don't know i forgot ln uh, you don't. You must not forget ln because we had ln here. It's important. Okay. Sometimes on your final paper it happens. You're like, oh, I forgot this, and then you fix it. This is how it works. Okay. Uh, okay. We have ln here. And then how can you fix yourself? It's just experience. I mean, you feel like there's something wrong, and you don't know what is it. What it is. I know you. You. You would. You were like, oh, you missed ln. You missed ln. You missed ln. Like one minute before. But I did it maybe on purpose, maybe not, but it doesn't matter. So in here, look, important part, this is you. If you think this is you, you tends to zero. You must type, you must write this. You tends to 
zero because if x goes to zero u tends to <coughs> u tends to zero and that it means that uh, you are letting the professors know that you are using you can use the formula it's important and now from here uh, if you you take the first order uh, and it's x plus ox i'm using ln plus ln 1 plus u formula formula number formula number in my previous videos formula number 5 and i have this one and i have e to the 1 plus o to the 1 and this gives you answer no, you don't have to write answer you just write so it's more like a professional so x to the 0 1 plus uh, sin x this is the pattern for your final you must write in this way is equal to e and you write this you get you get yes i'm sure i'm sure next one any questions um, if you don't understand from here to here watch the previous videos and exercise three let me focus first and now this one and this one and this one uh, exercise 10 it's just like uh it's like which one it's like exercise two let me focus it's exercise 10 and number two we focused on numerator and denominator first and uh, denominator i mean uh, if you watched the video it's okay it, it helps and right now i have numerator and denominator uh, so i have like something like n divided by s x squared and in my mind in my mind right now the goal is to have something like o1 right uh, and right now in my mind if n is equal to something 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 uh, plus uh, ox let's say and then divide by x will be divide by x it will be oh no it's x square right x square that's something something divided by x square plus o 1 over x so this is not what i want i'm in trouble here that's why i don't take the first order in the numerator uh, so what if i take the second order because i have x square because i have x square i take the second order if i have if n is equal to something 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 plus o x square this is something that's going on in my mind before solving this question uh, ox square uh, and if I divide it by x square like this I'm sure I'm going to have x square plus and o1 for this part I'm sure but for this part I'm not sure but it might work this is it means this curly bracket means in my mind okay and now I take the uh, second order the second not derivative what second order Taylor expression but in this video in this video when I made this video for this problem I took the first order it was because of x if you have x square you take second order so you see the pattern it's easy right it's not magic it's like there is pattern in mathematics everywhere and it's beautiful it's beautiful it's amazing you know uh, cosine x minus sine x the rest part is easy is equal to so ex second order what is it according to the formula ex 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 okay ex is 1 plus x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x what y plus x what y plus x let me check it let me check it x square oh i i it's 1 plus x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial but it doesn't matter oh i'm just erasing and rewrite again uh, so I have 1 plus x plus x squared divided by, you must memorize this formula, x squared. This is for ex. And for cosine x, second order, what is it? 1 minus x squared divided by 2 factorial, right? Okay, plus o x squared. How about for sine x? For sine x, let's, uh, let me see the formula. x minus, let's x plus o x squared. We are taking the second order. Okay, in this case, uh, 1, 1, bye-bye. Um, x, x, bye-bye. We're cancelling it. And now I have 2 multiply x squared divided by 2 factorial plus an ox squared minus ox squared minus ox squared will be ox squared. If you don't understand this one, watch exercise 8. Uh, the beginning, I explained it there. And this is not very useful.